Hey everyone, Mama Seven and Bless here. Just coming to you guys. Just want to share some things that um, I was praying about and that God gave me in my quiet time with Him. Some notes and stuff that I jotted down based on the significance of the blood moon. Um, first and foremost, I want to say those who have been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I used to post all the time about the sky and the chemtrails and different things like that. Well, if you notice, um, that has died down because, for one, we pretty much all, those of us who have ears to hear and eyes to see, those of us who have discernment, we already know that, um... What we see going on in the sky is not normal. Those of us who pay attention and we're not really caught up in a rat race or caught up in um, this race for mammon, which is money, um, we can take the time and look around and notice when the trees are different, notice when the sky is different. We remember how those things used to be growing up depending on what age you are. And so we kind of like already know what's going on. Um, more than anything, though, I had to stop because my focus needed to be more on God and what he had to say about what was going on. Um, and just to bring awareness. Um, I did, didn't get to see the blood moon. Um, be, the, I mean, my sky was clear. Um, the moon was huge. I saw it in the phase before the blood moon, and it was huge, and it was beautiful. But um, I came inside, and it was really, really cold outside, and I can't be outside long in the cold, so I didn't get to see it. But um, And then I had to, some things to take care of with the kids, but I do know that I was going to come on YouTube, and I was going to come online, and I was going to get to see the pictures. And, you know, some people say the pictures don't do it no justice, but listen, we know that it happened. Here's my thing. I wanted to really um, pray about it and hear what the Holy Spirit wanted to tell me about this because God ha knows all the answers. He has all the answers. And, you know, a lot of times, like with Tape in the Sky, talking about Project Blue Beam and all the stuff that the, the, the enemy is allowing the world to do, or the, the, or the world is allowing the enemy to do because the world is being used. People in the world who don't know God, they are being used by the enemy for his agenda. But those of us who know God, we know his agenda is greater than any agenda that Satan tries to bring up against us or to bring up against the world. You know, God's will is that none of us shall perish. He knew we wouldn't be perfect when he died on a cross for us, but he died so that we could be perfect in him. Now, he's at the right hand of the Father praying for us. So, had to stop from that. So, me going to God about the significance of this blood moon is because... I have to use my discernment. I know there was a couple of blood moons um, last year and different things like that. But it seems like this one is more significant. And I don't exactly know why. I didn't exactly know why until I sought after God for the answer. Because I didn't want to assume anything. I didn't want to go after um, an answer through YouTube or through other people because you have to study to show yourself approved and you have to go to God for yourself. That's why it says have a personal relationship with him. Even if you are a church goer, even if you're someone who is under a congregation or a fellowship of a church, let me school you on something. If you have a personal relationship with God, what God has been speaking to you all week and every day, what he's been speaking in your spirit, all you're going to get when you go to church and different things like that is a confirmation, a confirmation, like an unction in your spirit of what God had already been speaking to you. So it shouldn't be nothing new to you because we're all one body and God is the head. That's why if you notice that when God is speaking to you, something to you in your spirit or whatever like that, you might turn on the TV, you might turn on um one of the, you know, the TV shows and one of the ministers are preaching and you'll get that confirmation. But what you have to understand is you have to use discernment because the enemy will try to confirm his word, his lie. He will try to confirm it in many ways. That's why when he attacks your body with sickness and you turn on the TV and the commercials are pertaining to that sickness and all the negativity of it, he's depositing a word. He's trying to deposit a word into your spirit. 
okay, to cause certain things to manifest in you. And that's why it's so important for us to understand who we are in Christ before anything. No, it's not about being perfect, but he, Christ, will perfect that which concerneth you, okay? He knows he knows us. He created us and he knows us and he loves us all the same. But he has given us a free will and that is a choice. The significance of this blood moon, okay, is that there's a wrath that's getting ready to hit the nation. Now, it might be cliche. People might hear it. We know that America in some way a sport represents Babylon. And how it represents Babylon is a Babylonian spirit that rests upon this nation. That the enemy has used the people, okay, that is on top or feel like they're on top. He has used them to allow that spirit to jump onto them in such a way, okay, that those who are under them, those who choose, because see... The Bible gives you a choice. The word of God, he says it. Choose this day whom you're going to serve. You cannot serve two masters. You can't serve this world. You can't serve the purposes of this world and serve God at the same time. Is it going to be a struggle? Is it going to be a tug of war? Absolutely. Because the enemy wants as many people on his side that he can have on his side. And that's why he tries to drag us in and pull us into what we see on the TV and the people that we see, um, the stars and different people who are so-called making it. Um, excuse me. He tries to get us to look at that and try to compromise the path, the narrow path that God has desired for us to take because he knows that that will keep us, that will keep us in him. And so when, when certain things go on in the world, okay, you have to understand that your focus has to constantly be on God because everything that is around us is a distraction. Everything that goes on in life, you have to pay attention because a lot of the stuff that we have focused on as a people is a distraction from God. The Bible tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto us. Well, kingdom is a personal relationship with God. Then you have you have God, you have the man, and then you have the wife, and then you have the children. That is a kingdom order. A kingdom order it was, first starts with God as the head, no matter what. Because you have to seek God because he knows everything about you. He is your maker, okay? And so, therefore... In order for you to know how to operate and to live this life and to make it in this life, you have to understand that you have to have a personal relationship with God because in and of him, you we are nothing outside of him, okay? So, back to the blood moon. With the blood moon, I said, wow, I said, you know, because I, I haven't really been in, I haven't really been like, Seeking it out like that because I didn't want no mental distractions. Plus, you already have a lot going on, you know, trying to be a mom, trying to be a wife. Or those of you who go to work every day, you still got to come home and take care of children. I'm blessed to work from home. But then, you know, you have different people that want to take that time. But they're so tired that they don't have, they don't take that time to seek these things out, you know, to hear what the Spirit is speaking to them directly. So, um, yesterday I was listening to a video from, um, a YouTuber. He has a great page. His name is Bold Soldier for Christ. I will put the link in the description box. Um, and he was talking about the significance of the blood moon and everything like that. And he had mentioned how, um, I believe it was the Grammys. I didn't watch it. I didn't have, you know, I wasn't into that or whatever. But I did see a lot of people posting about it. And, you know, I have come to a place where I realize so much about these stars, so much about Hollywood. And I don't envy or desire. I can't say I never have because who doesn't want to live the rich life and, you know, extravagant life sometimes, you know, because you got to battle with your flesh. You understand? You live in this world. But you have to constantly tell yourself you're in this world, but you're not of it. You have to constantly minister that to your spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is not it. You know, people gain the riches of the world and they're having the big to-do and the big to-da, but 
there is so much on the way. There's so much on the horizon. There's so much to come that you have to be prepared for. I believe that's what uh, the the lamps, the, the 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 scripture with the lamps. I'm sorry, I can't remember it all right now. Um, but the scripture with with the lamps, you know, will God find you? You know, um, with it. It's like these people are living right now they're not thinking about the fact that eternity is real they're not thinking about the fact that you might be having fun now you might think that you're that you know you serve they're serving the god of money so many of these people compromise and they're they're antichrist with the things that they do i mean um just homosexuality and 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 just all of the debauchery and everything that you see and people are selling their souls because they feel like it's all about the bills that need to be paid and the shoes and the clothes and everything you become a slave to mammon and so what happens is that if you're going to serve that master okay because see you choosing to be on the wrong side because for god all he wants you to do is have a personal relationship with him to focus on him you ain't even got to be out here slaving and doing all of that because when you turn around god and bless your socks off because at the end of the day he'll show you where to shop he'll show you where to go he'll show you the things to do he'll show you the ropes Without having to sell your soul, without having to compromise, without having to be for, away from your family 24-7. Because you have made God the head. You have honored him in how you live your life. And though, yes, we live under grace. You understand what I'm saying? But it's the love that you have for God that causes you to go to him. Because you say, uh-uh, God, that looks nice. Oh, yeah, that's that's nice. You know, the world is all sparkly and extravagant. But you got, you know what, God? Ain't no love over there. Ain't no real love over there. Ain't no authentic love over there, God. That's nothing but superficial. That's, that's, that's superficial. That's not everlasting. You know, the love of God, it covers a multitude of sins. And... What ha what what's happening what's happening now is that the enemy is trying to feed mammon to the generations. Anytime you look online, you see people with money bags and different things, you know, behind their name and gotta chase this bag, gotta chase this money, and it's out there basically saying, You you ain't got time for God. You ain't got time to hear what your real purpose is. Because see, if you got God, you got favor. And 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 half the time when you got favor, money money ain't a thing. You hear some of them rappers talking about money ain't a thing, money ain't a thing. But there, God is into something that will perish, that will pass away, that will pass away. They won't always be there. You understand what I'm saying? And so, um, back to Bold Soldier for Christ. He was talking about how. Um, he was talking about the Grammys and everything like that in the video he had watched. And he was just saying how, you know, they were doing so much of a pledge to the Antichrist. And I noticed I've been seeing it a lot. It's been very loud. It's been very open, even on like the Taco Bell commercials and different things like that. It's been very loud. It's been very open. It's been very just like out there. Like we don't even care. Yeah, the Illuminati is real. We are part of Illuminati. Get like us. You understand what I'm saying? And then let me tell you how the enemy is subtle. He'll have these kids out here thinking they, they, Throwing up the 666 and covering their eyes and carrying on and, and doing all of that and hail this. And they, they think that that's what's going to cause them to get where their people are. But it's an illusion. It is a lie. It is to draw people in. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care how much those people's faces are made up. I don't care how expensive their dresses and shoes are. They are empty. Their soul is empty. And let me tell you, this blood moon, the significance of it is the wrath of God is coming. And let me tell you something. What we, those of us who believe, have that those people do not. They can't fall back on their money when all the stuff starts to take place. When all the... Uh, 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 the, 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 the things that's going to happen with the weather and just the evil and certain things that are going to happen, okay, because they don't have God and they don't have the word and they're empty, they're not going to have anything to fall back on. Have you ever picked up a dollar bill and it talked back to you and it encouraged you? 
Well, once you go and pay the bill and you don't have the money, then what happens? You looking for a way to chase it rather than seeking God for a relationship to tell you how to do this thing. To tell you, you don't have to worry about it. I got you covered. You see what I'm saying? Because in Hollywood and different places like that, they ain't got you covered. They telling you, if you don't do this, you ain't got a job. If you don't strip your clothes off, if you don't have, if this woman don't have sex with this woman and this man don't have sex with this man, then I'm sorry. End of contract. If you not out here fighting and 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 getting and acting a fool or try this drug or go to this party or do this or do that, and oh, kids are not allowed, so you better find somebody to take care of them kids. And then you don't sacrifice your kids. You don't sacrifice. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what they the Illuminati and all of that. It's you sacrificing. Your life, when God already sacrificed his life for you. So tell me where that, where is that situation better than this one? Even though you don't see all the glitz and the glam, you feel like you, you feel like you don't see the glitz and the glam. But let me tell you something. It's blessed to be on God's side at the end of the day, because he'll have you covered. Because he'll bless you with what you shouldn't have. What people, what the world says you shouldn't have, because you ain't doing what they doing. And you'll have a peaceful life. And your kids will be covered. And you'll be covered. Meanwhile, all hell is breaking loose. And God is covering you and God, you. God is covering you and yours. You know why? Because that hedge of protection. Just like back when the children of Israel, and I think he sent, God has sent that uh, spirit to, to, to come down and take the firstborn or whatever. And it happened to Pharaoh and all of that. Because they believed that they were their own God. And when stuff started happening to the people around, who did they have to call on? That's when you want to call on God when it's too late. Because that's what that blood room moon represents. It's oh, they, they moved that apocalyptic clock to, to um, two minutes till midnight. Honey, we at 12 o'clock. Because that's what that blood moon signifies. And you got to go see Psalm 91 and understand that God don't be lying. He don't lie. So, let me share with y'all real quick. Um, okay, so, how does the blood moon, um, what does it represent? What is the significance? Well, Trump, Donald Trump. Anytime you have seen Donald Trump on TV or anything like that, what do you think of when you affili- when you say his name, when you think of his name? Money. Money. Mammon. That's what he's big on. Because he's rich and all this other stuff and all the opportunities and based off of money. What does this world base everything off of? Money. You got poor people in the street. You got people who work two and three jobs and can't even afford a roof over their head living in homeless shelters. Because America don't care nothing about those people and their families. All they care about is the mighty dollar. And if ain't no mighty dollar involved, and they telling you, you got to chase mammon. That's what it's all about. So we have somebody now in the White House, okay, who represents mammon straight off the back. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to back then. When the children of Israel were, were in the wilderness. You can look this up. You can Google it. Listen, y'all all have y'all phones and y'all tablets. Google it. Take the time to Google it if you ain't got a Bible. But what did they do? Because I think Moses has went up to the mountain to the, to the mountain or whatever to spend time with God or to get the Ten Commandments or something like that. And they started wilding. Moses wasn't there. So they, they built a golden calf and they lifted it up. And what did it do? It brought the wrath. Crazy stuff started happening because God is a jealous God and there you can't, you can't do that. And America has been doing this for so long, so long. You got in God, we trust on the dollar bill, but it ain't the same God I serve with all types of Illuminati symbols and all of that. So they have basically from the beginning already decided that they, that they are anti-Christ, anti-God. Okay. So because of this, here comes the destruction of America because of the false God. It's no different from back then, but this is New Testament situation. 
Okay, and God is not a man that he should lie because he already let us know his word. There should be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Okay, now we're gonna go um, to the the three phases that took place. That was a confirmation to me, and this is this is God speaking this to me personally. This was a confirmation for me. Three, you got three, which represents the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So already, boom, God is in this thing. Why did they say it was in three phases? Because it was a a, um, a super moon, a blue moon, and a blood moon. So I'm saying the moon was blue. I didn't see that part. I just seen the moon was big. Excuse me, I got a text message. I just seen that the moon was big. So how is it that... Um, the moon was in these three phases, and where does the blue moon come from? So that some people saying, "Oh, it's called the blue moon because it happens once in a blue moon." They don't even realize that God was putting this significance, the significance in this thing for those of us who hear His voice and know. Outside of this, we know when He's speaking, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Super moon, blue moon. Last phase was the blood moon. Okay, and so. The eclipse, I was watching, I think it was Perry Stone, um, and he had mentioned um, that the blue the, the, the blue moon or whatever, or in the process of this um, blood moon, what I saw before I even looked at anything, because I was like, God, that eclipse represents something. That eclipse represents something. And it's like a, 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 a curtain closing and opening back. And when that eclipse happened, when the curtain closed on that super moon and opened back up and it was red, the eclipse represented a bad omen, which is a sign the world, um, the sword is coming to the world. Okay. So let me just share. Um, let me just share. Um, this scripture, Joel 2, 31, the, sh the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. So what I need you to do is I need you to do your own personal investigation with spending time with God and hearing what he's saying about you. And he will watch over his word to confirm it. Don't think that God is going to sit out here and let you, because I know there's trillions of uh, videos on YouTube. I know that there's a lot of people out there saying what they think. I know that there's ancient things from all, but let me tell you. It is all comes and boils down to the creator, the person who created this earth. And God knows everything. He's showing us signs because warning comes before destruction. But here you have it. 2018 just started. You have flu season. That right there is a plague. Is a plague. How many people do you know? And I thank God that though, you know, it tried, to, it tried to touch my home, my children are healthy and they're covered. And I thank God for that. No Tamiflu in their system. The Holy Spirit said, don't you dare. Because see, the enemy, he'll try. You'll say, oh God, but I cover myself. I put blessed oil. What's going on? Why am I getting this attack? Because the enemy is going to attack your flesh because right now it's spiritual warfare. It's spiritual warfare. The Bible, the word says that the weapon will be formed, but it will not prosper. And you have to understand that is a weapon. That is a weapon formed, but it will not prosper. But that word has to be in your spirit in order for it to manifest in your home, in your life. And so what you got to understand is you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. Look at the mosquitoes being released in Florida. Though you saying, oh, well, they man-made, they was in the, in, 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 they man-made. They was in the lab. God didn't cause that. I'll tell you what. It is still what is happening. The enemy is using people. These attacks are being launched. Nothing happens unless God says it's okay. So no matter what, the enemy, no matter how powerful he thinks he is or how powerful he tries to look, he still has to go to God and ask him for permission. And you have authority because you, you sit at the right hand of, at the right hand. Of the Father with God. Because he is in us. You understand? Because he is in us. That's the only way we are able to go to God for ourselves. 
because we have Jesus as our right hand man and he's in us. So you have to understand that this is what it is. And I hope this helped you. Um, you know, if you look back on my channel, you will see where God had given me different dreams and visions. I believe, um, a couple of them were about the blood moon and the dreams that I did have about him. And, you know, it's real out here. It's real out here. You know, those of you who want to know what's going on, you go to God for yourself. But he sends people. He sends people with the word, you know. And I'm not out here trying to fake it for nobody. I don't got time for all that. I'm a mom of seven kids. You know what I mean? I don't have time for all that. If God don't speak it, I don't need to open my mouth about it because I ain't got time. I'm not out here trying to prove nothing to nobody. Is there gifts and different things? Yes, God has given me gifts, and I bless him for that. But at the same time, I don't know how to operate in those gifts unless God shows me how to. So, with that said, I pray you all have a blessed day. I hope this word um, helped those of you who is wondering what's really going on out here. And, you know, what's, what, 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 is, what is coming? Because there's something coming. But you keep your family covered. You stay in the will of God because that is the safest place to be. Because he says, he that dwells in the shadow of the Almighty shall be covered. Go read Psalm 91. It's a long scripture, but I'm telling you, when you, when you, when you, when you have that scripture on the inside of you, and you know what I feel led to read that scripture, because there's somebody out there who doesn't know it and there's somebody out there who's anxious about what's to come but I'm going to read the scripture um, Psalm 91 whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust Surely he will save you from the fowler's snail and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at, 10, at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Um, I was able to get right on my phone and Google it. Okay, um, for those of you who don't have that time, you're always on the go, you're in the rat race, and there's just certain things that you have to do, and you just say, oh God, I don't have time, blah, 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 well, listen, you can make time. I know we're all tired, we're all drained, and, you know, things happen in life that cause us to get distracted, but you need something to fall back on. You need something, I, and I'm only telling you because I know. I know what it is to be empty and not have nothing and be walking around here like a zombie and stressed out and depressed because I'm taking on the cares of the world. When God said, come to me, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And those of you who don't know God, know you don't have to be perfect. But all you have to do is make that prayer and say the prayer of salvation and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I, you know, I, I, I realize that. You know, Jesus said his only son, he sent you to die for me, Lord God, and I ask you that you will come into my life to stay. Just say that prayer and ask God to come into your life and to be your God and that you want to live for him. God, show me how to live for you. Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I renounce the enemy. I renounce the enemy and I ask you to come into my life. Make me brand new. From there on, there is a change. There is an immediate change because you have transformed from the kingdom of darkness into the light of his dear son. 
Okay? You have went from darkness to light. You have renounced the enemy. You have told him you're not living for him no more. You belong to God. And you're going back to your first love. It's simple. Don't walk around here trying to feel like you like 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 you got to be perfect before you open your mouth and you and you say that prayer because that's the trick of the enemy. Let me tell you something. The enemy ain't got nothing for you. All he trying to do is kill you and take you to hell in the process as swiftly as he can. And a lot of people think that there's so much time because they're having fun and they have the money. And if they get sick, they can pay for it. And this, that, and the third, honey. You can't pay your way into eternity because you have to accept the person who paid it all for you to make it there. You have to accept him into your life, point blank, and the period. And that's just how it goes. So, with that said, shout out to everyone who's watched this video. I appreciate all the subscribers and y'all stay blessed.